All right, what is going on everyone? It's Josh here from CryptoVizzy and today we've got a video which has been highly requested and essentially I'm gonna take five coins that are performing well socially and I'm going to do technical analysis on them to see whether the technicals back up the fundamentals. So before we get into it, if you do enjoy what we do here on CryptoVizzy, please leave a like on the video down below, subscribe to the channel for more. We do video every single day and we're one of the fastest growing communities in the crypto space right now. You can also join our Telegram down below. The link will be there so you can join our, I think it's over 600 people now in our Telegram group where we can chat about all different types of cryptos. Anyway, on with the video. So I've been using this tool recently called Luna Crush. Now we're not affiliated with them in any way, I just find it a very useful tool. And essentially what it does is it monitors the social engagement for different cryptocurrencies. And I find this is super important and helpful because whilst some people may only look at the technicals, some people might only look at the fundamentals, I think it's a great idea to look at both together. And what this website does is it takes uh, their Twitter feeds, their interactions on different social platforms and adds it together and puts it into graphs. And there's this thing called Galaxy Score, as you can see here. So when you click it, it will order all the coins into which ones have their best Galaxy Score based on you know their, their different metrics for it. So as you can see, Galaxy Score indicates how healthy a coin is by looking at combined performance indicators across markets and deep social engagement. So this is what we want. So before we get into that though, I just wanna say, the average social sentiment for the whole market is 73.8% bullish, which is amazing because I think we were down at around 65% the other day. So this shows that Bitcoin might press higher into the 10,000 range again, and we might have enough strength this time to break and close properly above that 10,000 mark. So without further ado, let's get onto the Galaxy score. So if you order them like this, you'll see these are the top coins based on their own Galaxy score. And I'm going to pick out the ones that have been most requested on our channel uh, and just analyze five. Otherwise, this video would be super long. But if this is a series you guys enjoy, I could definitely do way more of these. You know, they're relatively easy to do. I can just go on the chart and I can just do some technical analysis on these coins. So definitely let me know there. But yeah, so I'm going to start off with um, crypto.com. Now, this is a coin we haven't actually covered on this channel. And a lot of people always say, what about Crow? What about Crow? And let's let's have a look at it i honestly am not invested in crow uh that's not because i don't like it that's just because i never really have taken the time to look into it so this could be my chance now so i'm going to show you how i see the market as i see fit but this has the best galaxy score in the market right now meaning according to this crow is the most bullish cryptocurrency so let's have a look if the technicals really back that up so as you can see, the price obviously does back that up. Look at that run. That is an incredible run that Crow has made on the daily chart. You know, in back in the end of March, we were seeing about three cents and now we're looking at breaking the 11 cent mark, which means anyone holding it is almost approaching 4X territory, which is, uh, is a great territory to be in. Now, I'm a bit jealous now because I, I wish I was holding the coin, but let's have a look from an un unbiased perspective then so i'm going to take a trend line here and again i did this isn't going to be perfect technical analysis this is just me showing you my general thoughts um i'm used to forex that's why i mainly trade so i'm not used to markets quite as volatile as this but you know hopefully i can still do a decent job so as you can see we're obviously in an uptrend don't need a trend line to tell us that look at the price but it helps us by just making an area of value so this could be an area in the future that price could come and retest. Now, if we also mix in some uh, some support, so as you can see here, price failed to break above before later breaking above. So I would say there's probably a good chance that price could come back down here to retest. So those of you that think you might have missed the boat, uh, never fear, usually cryptocurrencies and currencies in general do come to retest and correct themselves. Now, once again, this is not financial advice. I know I have to say it in every video, I'm sorry, but it is a legal requirement. But uh, this could completely keep going up forever. Like, I have no idea at the end of the day, it's all speculative. But my opinion from a technical standpoint would be, I would wait for hype to die down a little bit. I'd wait for price to correct a little bit, maybe to one of these, to one of these areas up here. Or maybe if we present ourselves with some more support, you know, we could also maybe see here as this was the only candle of rejection in this big bull run here. But we could see a price point of maybe seven or eight cents to come back to before moving higher. So that's personally what I would do. And, you know, if it did reach those levels again, I would look into maybe entering because based on a technical standpoint as well, that's pretty decent. But 
I would just avoid FOMO, personally. I, I just couldn't bring myself to buy a market that looks this overbought right now. You know, we're literally moving up vertically, which is pretty crazy. And considering we've been doing it for so many days now, it's, it's hard for me to say from a technical background, this is going to keep going up forever. But again, cryptocurrencies are manipulated, they're driven by different forces, and this could. But my final opinion is I would wait back for a correction and then enter on around this level here. Anyway, that is Crow, and uh, from a fundamental perspective, it's obviously doing very well, hence the Galaxy score of 75.5 out of 100, making it the best cryptocurrency according to them today. Now, number two is BAT. I made a video where I included my top five coins for June, and BAT was actually on there. So we're going to see how BAT is doing. So we're clearly in an uptrend. Once again, let's whip out the trend line. You can see it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just doing it to show you the trend. And you can see we're obviously in quite a, I'd say steady uptrend, but you know, nothing's really steady in cryptocurrency, is it? Um, if we just edit that a little bit. So what I would recommend is again, waiting for these areas of value. Let me just point your attention over to this level of support here where we've made a higher low, which is actually something very important in terms of defining a potential uptrend starting. Now, obviously we are in this long-term uptrend, but it's quite a steady one. This could be potentially the start of a proper outbreak. Now, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up too much. It could be completely wrong. It could be a false breakout or whatever. But what we have done is we've made support here on the back of this. So what we could easily see happen is something literally kind of like a huge shoot upwards uh, without a retest. That could be something we, we see. It could also be a, a healthier trend. Or again, we could see a breakdown. But from the looks here, I would be quite bullish on BAT, and that is also why I chose it for this month's pick. Uh, you can also go ahead and watch that video if you want to see what my other four picks were. But yeah, BAT, very bullish on that. I enjoy the token a lot, and I do own it. So let's see what is up next. Now, up next technically is Divi. Now, a lot of people have talked about Divi, but unfortunately, Divi doesn't have a chart on TradingView, so I can't analyze it. Therefore, I won't be talking about it. But according to the Galaxy score, it's obviously doing very well. But that's okay, I'll be throwing in a bonus one anyway. So, IS, so IOST token is up next. So this is IOST against Tether US on Binance on the daily chart. These are all going to be daily analysis, by the way. I'm not going to go into the smaller time frames because that could easily change by the time that this video comes out. So I want to make sure it's a long-term, still relevant video. So as you can see, what, what happened here is we were slowly, slowly making our way up. But then we had kind of that move that I was just talking about in BAT, see play out. So this is what I think could play out in BAT, where we suddenly start this more violent uptrend. And uh, this is definitely something to watch. I think we have definitely uh, made, obviously, support here. And we could easily see this price take off again, probably in a more healthy manner since we've already started more of a, a fast pace trend but we'll probably see price move up a little bit higher maybe into uh, previous resistance around the uh, five to six cent mark so definitely watch out between the uh, 0 0.005 cent and the 0 0.006 cent mark so definitely something interesting to watch there that's pretty much all there all there is and all i can see in iost right now so let's move on to the next one now of course i want to point out the uh, the analysis i'm doing here today is obviously price action analysis there's no indicators involved however that's not me saying i don't like indicators they definitely have their place and their use so don't feel bad about using indicators if you do i personally like moving averages and i've done videos on my favorite trading indicators so feel free to go ahead and use them don't just rely on price all the time but up next we've got raven or rbn which is the coin we'll be analyzing next Let's have a look here. Okay, so RVN, Ravencoin. Let's see what we can analyze. It's a tough market to analyze, to be honest, this one. Uh, there's no real clear direction. I mean, we're obviously moving down in a downtrend, but you know, it's not a strong downtrend. Uh, I mean, it's a long-term one, but potentially, uh, this is interesting actually. I don't know if you can see here, guys. We might have made a higher low, which means this could be the beginning of an uptrend. And this could be very interesting because we've been in a downtrend on this coin since whoa, way back, way back, since about mid-October last year. Meaning, if we have a break of this trend, guys, this could be explosive. Um, this could be a coin that's going up hundreds of percent. Now, I don't want to speak too soon and, and again, get everyone's hopes up, but the fact that we've made a higher low here 
is really, really interesting. Yes, we have done that in the past here a little bit and gotten our hopes up, but who knows? I mean, for it to properly break the trend, you know, we'd need to see, uh, you know, something like, like this, a push up out of here. But to be honest, I don't doubt that this could happen. Now, where would my entry point be? Would it be on the breakout? Probably not. What I would like to see is uh, is a retest on a level like here. So if we moved up and we did break out, I'd like to see this breaking as confirmation. I'd like to see either a retest or something of that nature there. And then I would expect us to see a higher push and then potentially even move into a long-term uptrend if this coin is sustainable. Now, I don't know a ton about Ravencoin. I don't own Ravencoin, but it is one that's been requested on the channel quite a lot. And as you can see, according to the Galaxy score, it's doing very well. So that's what I'd like to see with Raven. That's what we could potentially see. Keep your eyes open for that on the daily chart. It may, may take a few weeks to play out, but you know, it's worth the wait if it, if it does go off just out of nowhere. So yeah, set your alerts or keep your eyes on this level here, guys. Now, finally, we have Theta Token. That's gonna be the bonus one since we didn't do Divi. So Theta Token is gonna be a very difficult chart for us to analyze because, and I'll tell you why. From a price action standpoint, we had this huge run up. I mean, look at that. We literally shot up and we had huge resistance around here. And we've fallen back, but we haven't, we haven't really, uh, we haven't, but we haven't confirmed yet whether we're going to be going into a downtrend, okay? Now, if this level here, guys, if this level here is broken, we're in a downtrend and I wouldn't expect the price to go up uh, too soon. You know, that means we've made a, we've made a lower high and we have continued through with it. So if that does happen, I'd be bearish. But if we do hold this level and we go up nicely and we break this level up here, so if we move upwards to like here, then I would expect to see us restart that uptrend. Now, look, long term, we are still in an uptrend, but this lower high here really does scare me a little bit. If we follow through, then I would expect to see us go down. But for now, still relatively bullish. You know, we have made this huge pr push up, which could have been, you know, a mixture of things, FOMO, news, whatever. But, you know, technically, we could still see that push. It'll be hopefully more of a steady push and healthy push this time, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. That's my price action analysis on those five coins though. So I hope you did enjoy guys and definitely check out this website. Uh, it really helps me out actually. Uh, again, we're not affiliated with them in any way. I just do enjoy using them, but yeah, uh, I definitely do that. And guys, I might do another series on the alt rank one because then it gives you a different, uh, a different ranking of them based on different things so the alt rank is a unique measurement relative to bitcoin and other social activity indicators so yeah, guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you subscribe join our telegram group like the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye